y'all? It is uh, Mike the Movie Guy of iWatchMike.com along with Jenny Fly from JennyFlyBlog.com. And we checked out a movie! <laughs> Beautiful creatures! Amazing! I just hate hiding all the time. Feeling like everybody's whispering about me. Is that her? My mama says her whole family are Satanists. <laughs> I like you. You don't know anything about me. My family's different. There you have it, y'all. Beautiful Creatures actually hits theaters Valentine's Day, Lover's Day. I love love. Oh, God. <laughs> and uh, we actually had a chance to go check out Beautiful Creatures uh, the other night. And um, I have to admit, I was very satisfied. You liked it. You liked it. Let's talk about this movie. Ethan and Lena. I used to date a girl named Lena. Well. Were y'all two star-crossed lovers? <laughs> Not like Lena and Ethan in the movie? No. So let's get back to the movie. Yes. Okay, so two star-crossed lovers um, who uh, kind of, um, I don't want to give it away, uh, but basically there's two teenage <laughs> people who are youngsters in high school, mm -hmm. and uh, would you say it's kind of like Twilight? It, I mean, maybe about the love. It's just totally different. It, they, they, she's a witch. Yeah, well, you just gave that away. Oh, we can't? Why? What? That's what they know that when you watch the trailer. Maybe some people haven't watched the trailer, Jenny Fly. If you haven't watched the trailer, then I don't know where you've been. This young kid falls in love with this girl. He doesn't know that she happens to be a caster, which. And uh, the family doesn't like it, and all hell breaks loose because there's a curse following her, but they have love, and they're supposed to be together, and everybody wants them apart. And then, then when she gets 16, she's supposed to either go to the, a light, a white, li uh, like a, a good witch and a bad witch. So it's kind of like. Light caster, dark caster. It's kind of like Wizard of Oz. Glinda the witch and then the bad, wicked witch of the. No? I don't know. Okay, either way. So this guy is in the middle of all this drama, okay? So not only is he dealing with high school, he's dealing with freaking witch and, and magic drama. And that's what this movie's about. So, Jenny Fly. <laughs> yes. Without giving anything away, what did you like and what you didn't like about Beautiful Creatures? I loved it. I love love. I just want to sing. I just wanted to sing when I got out the movie. I was like, I love love. Oh, I love Lena and Ethan together forever. I can't wait to part two and three, whatever. Let me tell you about what I thought about the movie. I liked it from the beginning to the end. It's um, It's a really, really good movie. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did. I thought I was like, okay, magic, <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> There was no werewolves in it, which I was a little upset about. Uh, but other than that, um, I love the scenery of the movie. Uh, down in the south, kind of remind me of New Orleans, but I think it's in uh, North Carolina. I think it's where it's I think South Carolina. They, the South Carolina. One of those Carolinas where the Civil War was at. The cast was dope. I mean, J uh, Jeremy Irons plays uh, the uncle. He's badass and everything he is. else. Who's the mom that played the? Uh, she's famous too. The mom that she plays the the bad caster mom. She's awesome in the movie. Um, Ethan, who's played by, what's his name? Uh, Alden. Alden. Mm -hmm. I can't, we don't want to even mess Enright. up. And right. There you go. He is awesome, awesome. He is great. He, he did a really good job. He was me. actually, he was my favorite in the Ridley entire movie. was great. Uh, Emily Rossum. Yes. All, all the cast was great. Everybody was great. Uh, Alina was hot. Yep. Especially when she started turning into the, towards the, her birthday. There's darkness in you. Don't you try and deny it. Accept it, sweetheart. Be with me. She was hot. But uh, Ethan, uh, that guy, he, uh, when I was watching, I was like, this guy reminds me of the, the next Leonardo DiCaprio. He was just... He's good. He, his emotions, happy, sad, dumb, quirky, nerdy, everything was on yep. point. I highly recommend this movie. It comes out Valentine's Day. Uh, how many popcorns do you give Beautiful Creatures? Five out of five. Five out of five. I would have to go with four and a half out of five. The... It almost... It almost... It's great. For me, but it's it's definitely worth checking out. It's definitely a movie that I would add to my DVD collection. Me too, me too, me too. Me too. And it's definitely a movie that I would go see again. Me too, me too. Beautiful me too. creatures. <laughs> Don't forget Valentine's Day, the the day of love. I love love. So do you and you and you and you. But guys out there, don't think it's just a love story. No. It's got action. It's got magic. It's mm -hmm. got comedy. It's got drama. It's got everything in it. It's, it's yeah. a very well balanced movie. So. You, if your girl wants it, you can take, take her. her. Just take her. You and better take her. I don't know if you want to get all the guys together. No. But there might be girls there in the movie that are single, and then there you go. Yeah. All right. I agree. Check out my blog, iWatchMike.com, and uh, follow me on Twitter at MikeTheMovieGuy. JennyFlyBlog.com and at JennyFly on Twitter. All right. Beautiful Creatures opens up Valentine's Day. Go watch it. Peace. Woo!